Hello everyone, welcome to Elite's Grid. So we're back with another question on para jumbles, which came in CAT 2022 in the third slot. So let's begin the question. So these are the four sentences that you have to arrange in the proper sequence. So the first one, if I wanted to sit indoors and read or play Sonic the Hedgehog on a red hot Sega Mega Drive, I would often be made to feel guilty about not going outside to enjoy it while it lasts. Now, this line is telling us about some person that, you know, in case he would sit indoors, you know, he would watch a series or play some games, then he was made guilty that he, he was made to feel guilty because he was not going out or enjoy it while it lasts. Now, see, this means that this sentence cannot come in the beginning. Because enjoy it while it lasts. Now, we don't know. There has to be something before it. Just it, just what it refer to. You know, enjoy it while it lasts. What is it that we are going to enjoy? So, first is definitely not the sentence that can be in the beginning of the paragraph. So, let's come to the second one. My mom quite reasonably wanted me and my sister out of the house in the sun. So, ye basically bata rahe, jo bahut general si baat ki, the iski mother, you know, uh, author ko or his sister, uh, the mother wanted both of them to be outside the house. So, first, uh, may hai, you know, he was made to feel guilty for not going outside to enjoy it while it lasts. Third, Tales of my mom's adelic sounding childhood in Sussex countryside, where trees were climbed by 8 a.m. and streams navigated by lunchtime were passed down to us like folklore. Now, what is this sentence telling us? Ki, matlab, you know, his mother, his mother used to tell uh, her kids, his sister and he himself, ki, you know, how, what kind of childhood she had. So, what did they do in their childhood? Mein kya karte the? Ki, you know, trees, they used to be out in the sun. So, wo baje tak, you know, they used to climb the trees. Or they used to navigate the streams. So, they are telling their stories like their children. So, in the second, they are telling that the mother wants her kids to be out in the sun. And in the third, the mother is telling their children about what they did in their childhood. They used to be outside the house. And the fourth is telling us to an introverted kid that felt like a threat. And the feeling has stayed with me. Okay, when I say that felt like a threat, we don't know that it can't be in the beginning. That is referring to something which we have already talked before. So that here will come only after something which this that is referring to. So this means that if we arrange four sentences, it can't be in the fourth because that felt like a threat. That will come later. We will have to tell something before, but after that it will come. First can't be in the first because we don't know. Enjoy it while it lasts. What is it lasting? Now this can't be in the first. And you know, third one you see, uh, it's talking about what passed down to us like folklore. Ye us kon hai? Ye us actually me, ye bhai bhai na dono, brother and sister, ye mother ke kids. Ki, you know, they, uh, the, my mother wanted me and my sister to be out, wanted me and my sister to be out of the house. And then later on, you know, they're telling us ki mommy jo apni stories batati thi, wo hume as a folklore milti thi. To us, this us is referring to this us is, us is referring to me and my sister. Okay, so this us can't be before because us, the pronoun is referring to someone, who 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 is referring to someone, so first you have to tell the noun, then you can use the pronoun for it, but how do we know that this us is referring to someone, that means third can also not come here. So only one option is that here will be the second one, which is your paragraph. That my mom, quite reasonably wanted me and my sister out of the house in the sun. So this is the beginning of the paragraph ki mommy uh, chaati thi dono bachche bahar ho ghar se in the sun. Now, uh, you know, what is the next line that will follow it? Ab sabse zyada suitable, dekho, we can't have fourth ki, you know, uh, fourth is not that good to an introvert kid. It felt like a threat. Ab bhi threat ke baare mein कोई ऐसी बात नहीं हुई कि सिर्फ बाहर है घर के तो उसको थ्रेट लग रहा है। In fact, ये फर्स्ट में हम कह सकते हैं कि उसे गिल्टी फील होता था, you know, for not going outside। उसे थ्रेट हम लिंक कर सकते हैं, नेगेटिव फीलिंग को, फीलिंग को कर सकते हैं। अब सेकंड के बाद एकदम हम कि नहीं बोल सकते क्योंकि यहाँ पर फीलिंग की बात हो रही है First of fourth का link हो रहा है because first is talking about some feeling. 
कि जब वो घर में यू नो ही टू सिट इनडोर्स सो ही वॉज मेड टू फील गिल्टी फॉर नॉट गोइंग आउटसाइड तो फीलिंग है एक गिल्ट की फीलिंग है और फिर यहाँ पर भी हम फीलिंग की बात करें कि इट फेल्ट लाइक अ थ्रेट तो एक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल काफी कनेक्टेड लग रहे हैं और फिर नेक्स्ट कनेक्शन जो सबसे यू नो प्रोमिनेंट है यहाँ पर दैट इज द सेकंड एंड द थर्ड वन सेकंड में वी आर बीइंग टोल्ड दैट द मदर वांट्स द किड्स टू बी आउटसाइड द हाउस एंड थर्ड में यू नो शी इज टेलिंग अबाउट हर ओन चाइल्डहुड की वो कैसे बाहर होते थे तो पहले मतलब यू नो वी विल टेल वी विल मैंशन समथिंग एग्जिस्ट एंड देन वी विल टेल अबाउट द डिटेल्स राइट तो पहले मम्मी बता रही है कि बाहर रहना है फिर बाद में थर्ड बता रहा है कि बाहर करना क्या है यू नो यू हैव टू क्लाइम द ट्रीज यू हैव टू नेविगेट द स्ट्रीम्स जैसे वो अपने चाइल्डहुड में करते थे सो इट इज यू नो दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज टू बी पास ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सो वी फर्स्ट टेल दैट यू हैव टू बी आउट उसके बाद ही तो बाहर जाके जो जो करना है वो एक्टिविटीज आएंगी और मदर की सिर्फ यही दो सेंटेंसेज है और बाकी चीज में मदर के बारे में डायरेक्टली बात भी नहीं कर रहे तो यू नो दीज टू सेंटेंसेज विल बी टूगेदर बिकॉज सेकेंड इज टेलिंग अस दैट यू हैव टू बी आउट थर्ड इज टेलिंग अस वॉट एक्टिविटीज हैव टू बी डन वेन यू आर आउट so these two will be together so second ke baad third hoga theek hai aur then you know first and fourth ka bhi humne link dekha tha ki if i wanted to sit outdoors to you know he was made to feel guilty aur yahan par enjoy it last bhi satisfy ho gaya kyunki ab hum information de chuke hain ki aapko bahar sun mein jana hai wahan pe trees ko climb karna hai streams ko navigate karna hai to ye it wali condition bhi satisfy ho gayi ki kya kya last kare ye sab cheeze sun hai to fir sun mein aapko ye ye kaam karna hai so you have to enjoy it while it last so uh, you know first के बाद हम फोर्थ यहाँ पे कर सकते हैं बिकॉज टू इंट्रोवर्ट किड दैट फेल्ट लाइक अ थ्रेड अब ये देखो फोर्थ आप टेल्स के बाद नहीं लगा सकते अगर किसी को लग रहा है कि चलो थर्ड के बाद हम फोर्थ कर दे कि जो मम्मी की टेल्स थी यू नो दे फेल्ट लाइक अ थ्रेड बिकॉज ही वॉज इंट्रोवर्ट तो वो जो मम्मी एक्टिविटीज बता रही थी कि दैट यू हैव टू क्लाइम द ट्रीज यू हैव टू नेविगेट द स्ट्रीम्स दीज एक्टिविटीज could feel like a threat but these could not be threat because they are using the word idyllic here which definitely means pleasant so wo pleasant sounding tha something which is you know pleasant sounding cannot feel like a threat guilt can feel like a threat but not this idyllic sounding idyllic sounding something very pleasant ye threat nahi ho sakti hai to third ke baad uh, fourth nahi aa sakta hai because third is talking about some pleasant thing fourth is talking about some threat but first ke baad fourth aa sakta hai kyunki first is talking about you know how he was made to feel guilty you know when you will be made to feel guilty of course it's a very negative feeling and th- that negative feeling can feel like a threat so isliye first ke baad four hoga third ke baad four nahi hoga so third will follow the second because they are you know in continuation ki second mein jo ho raha hai wo third mein he continue ho raha hai ki kya kya activities karni hai aur jo first mein guilt wali feeling hai of course it's a very negative feeling that feeling can be called a threat so fourth first ke baad aayega theek hai ye jo feeling wali baat hai ye third ke baad nahi aa sakti hai ki wo jo stories bata rahi hai they were very pleasant they they have used that word which will give you a feeling of pleasantness so this has to be your answer second third first and fourth baki pair mein aapki a flow nahi aayega so you know we can just check the flow as well ki pehle we are telling about you know you have to be out fir we are telling ki out ho to fir what all activities you have to do once you are out what activities when you are out because yahan par us hai dekho us pehle me and my sister fir us to ye us me and my sister ke baad hi aayega because us inko refer kar raha hai to wo cheez uske baad aani chahiye तो फिर हमने बता दिया कि एक्टिविटीज जो uh, क्या क्या करते हैं दे वर टोल्ड टू अस ठीक है देन देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कि अच्छा बाहर जाके एक्टिविटीज करनी है बट यू नो व्हेन मैं बाहर नहीं जाता था और ये सब रीड करता था या कुछ वॉच करता था कोई सीरीज तो आई वॉज यू नो इन केस आई वॉज नॉट आउट I was not out. I was inside. I was indoors. Then I was made to feel guilty, and then you know that guilt is a threat and that feeling. It has to be a feeling, and guilt is you know he is definitely a feeling. He used to feel guilty, and that feeling has stayed with him. So this guilt wali feeling he aage threat hai aur ye threat uske saath raha hai. So this is a coherent paragraph. Sab kuch ek saath flow mein hai. First, uh, fourth sentence. Sabse pehle second sentence. को कंटिन्यू कर रहे थर्ड थर्ड को फर्स्ट और फिर फर्स्ट को फोर्थ सो दिस इज द आंसर सो बट बिफोर वी एंड दिस वीडियो सो वी हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन फॉर यू दैट यू मस्ट सॉल्व एंड टेल अस द आंसर इन द कमेंट्स सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज ट्राई इट एंड गिव द आंसर इन द कमेंट्स आई होप यू एंजॉय द वीडियो थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग इट